Greetings, Horizon Armenian TV viewers. I'm your host, Maria Cosette. I have a very special guest with me, an exceptional artist, multi-instrumentalist, drum prodigy, Jacob Arman. And in preparation for his upcoming concert, September 8th at the Alex Theater, we have a lot to talk to him about. So welcome, Jacob. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me here. Of course. It's a pleasure to have you. I'm very excited. And we have a lot to talk about. But first, let's talk about um, your background, your upbringing. Um, it's always important to have supportive parents, but your father played an instrumental role in shaping you as an artist. So let's talk about that entire journey. Well, um, I was born and raised in an Armenian family, you know, born in uh, Los Angeles. So LA native, LA, all right. all the way through, you know, so. Um, but yeah, so it's been, it's been a journey because um, you know, I have, I've, I've had such wonderful nurturing parents. They were both musicians. So my daddy graduated from Juilliard and he had his whole history and past. And my mom, she sings in 17 different languages. Um, my grandma um, used to play violin and um, she used to teach, you know, violin. And, and, um, and my brother and my sister, my older brother and my older sister, they ended up learning how to play drums as well. So, oh, wow, okay. Uh, just imagine what my neighbors went through. So, right. Yeah. So everywhere we were at, they were, we were very much loved. So it was like a concert all the time at the Armin household. But so, um, yeah, I, I pretty much didn't have a choice. Like my dad, he just saw something immediately for me. I was eight months old. He would tap my right hand to the downbeat of music. He let go and he, you know, I just kept on going and I was on beat for at least four measures and then I just, fell off Amazing. and he's like he's like wow like you know something is up with this kid like I gotta I gotta do something and then all that came about like he's, he just started nurturing me and teaching me and then at 18 months old I was already starting to play the drums and playing with him and then at 22 months I was playing with jazz bands and so at this whole time frame like my mom which is very like old school you know she has her beliefs and like the child should be you know having her own like his or her own childhood and she was like freaking out. So, but my dad just kept on going for it, and um, and a lot of things happened, and the rest is history. You know. Yeah, and you know what you mentioned um, nurturing. So there's a lot of debate about nature versus nurture, and I personally think that you can tell the difference between an artist that was born to make music, that was born with a talent, rather than somebody that learned. You know, and that um, holds true with singing. Uh, being a musician, whatever the case. And so uh, with that said, however, even though you have a natural talent, polishing it and working on it is important. So I know you worked with your dad on that, of course, um, growing up, and you had a good uh, disciplinary balance with your mom and everything. But um, let's talk a little bit about mentors, and mentors are so important. So let's talk about um, professor of music and jazz at Cal State Northridge, um, Professor Joel Leach, and what role he played in your life. A uh, tremendous role. So um, as far as what my dad did and nurturing me and bringing me to a point in my life, I was already playing consistently at our restaurant, you know, back in the day. And um, so it was a family restaurant. We would have live music and I would play with my parents and, and it was, you know, it was a live show entertainment. And, and so my dad called Professor Joe Leach and said, you know, my son, he loves hearing your jazz band record all day long. He listens to it, especially John Coltrane's Giant Steps. Right. And, um, you know, you should come hear him. You know, he plays all these different time signatures, polyrhythms, and, and you know, he, all these different styles of music. Like, you need to hear him, you know? And it's like, okay, great. Uh, I'll come down. And how, old, how old is he? Is he like a freshman or a junior in college? My dad goes, no, he's, he's, he's only six. He's, he's, he's like only six <laughs> years old. He, he almost literally hung up. He said, you know what? Like, this is a crank call, like, thank right. you for talking to me, but, you know, I'm not interested. He goes, no, believe me, it's on me, food, everything, you just come, trust me. You, you'll see what you're going to see, and then we'll take it from there. So he came, he saw it, and then he said, you know what, come to the university Monday morning, and we'll, we'll talk then. As we come and arrive, it was like 9 in the morning or something. Next thing you know, we see all these new channels, Channel 4, Channel 2, Channel 7. Wow. Uh, everyone. And you're six years and old. I'm, all, I'm only six years old. So everyone was there. Everyone was there. And then he set it up in such a way where the jazz band was already there. So Amazing. he said, Jacob, sit here. We're going to play one piece. And I want you to hear it. And I want you to come and play with us. Right. So I didn't even know. Like, it was like kind of like a setup. You know what I mean? So 
I, I go and I'm listening. I'm like, okay, I don't even know what's happening. So I listen to the song. I say, okay, I got all the breaks. I know what's going on. So I went back in there and I started playing and, and the rest was, you know, it just went, went from there. So from that point, like all this media started coming. And right. then, and then I, of course, I got my big break. At yes, the, at yes. The Please Show. let's talk about that. Um, yeah. When you signed a record deal, your debut album, and I know that he still worked with you as well, correct? In your collaborative work in the future with your... Professor Jolie? Yeah. Well, he was part of the album that I did under Prince's label. Right. But The Tonight Show came when I was seven. So yes. that came, that came right after. And we have after. a clip for yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, that came right after. Awesome. The so whole. you know what? That was perfect. Let's yeah. get into the clip then. Okay. Because you're seven years old here, and this experience must have been just so magical. Um, at the age of seven on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Um, you want to say a little bit about that before we go to the performance? Yeah, sure. Um, well, at that time, you know, there wasn't... <laughs> I mean, it was 1989, so right. there wasn't much cable going on or internet, and so it was literally like the Tonight Show was the Tonight Show, like that was the show at the time. Right. And so for you to be on that was something. It you was know, a big It was deal. huge. It was a. It was a. It was an amazing experience. I even had a dislocated thumb, and so the adrenaline, the amp, and all that just took over, and you know, and we we played it and just made it happen. So it was it was an experience I'll never forget. Beautiful. Yeah. So let's watch the clip right now. This is Jacob Arman at the age of seven on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. If you, uh, if you just join us, we are going to cut over uh, to the band with our guest uh, musician tonight, and you will see behind a rather massive set of drums a small little person. Uh, his name is Jacob Arman. Will you hear him play? Jacob, Doc, it's all yours. Thank you. 
Free market. Good stuff. You did it with this here? Well, that's, you are, uh, <laughs> you are, uh, you are nothing short of remarkable. Thank you. That's an amazing demonstration. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when are you going to be eight? Mm, February 22. Good heavens. Where's Shaughnessy tonight? <laughs> Eddie Shaughnessy went to Alabama, Tuscaloosa. Anyway, Jacob, thank you. It's nice to have you on the show. You're going to have a great career ahead of you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Jake and Mama, we'll be right back. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Jacob Armand, September 8th. Check out this incredible artist, truly. And it's more than a concert, more of an experience, I should say, at the Alex Theater, 7.30 p.m. For tickets, visit TicketMakeIt.com or call 818-265-0506. Stay with us. You are watching Horizon Armenian TV. I'm Maria Cosette, and my very special guest today is Jacob Armen, multi-instrumentalist and drum prodigy. And we're here talking about your entire world. We just went through your beautiful childhood. I love it. Um, and so let's pick your brain a little bit more, and now let's talk about when you were 11 and signed your first record deal. Um, right. Let's talk about that. Well, I was under... Um uh, Prince's uh, at the time was Paisley Park Enterprises and later right. became known as NPG Records. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I got signed with him and, and the story with that was, well, he, he discovered me because uh, I was in Italy doing this competition. It was amongst like all these genius kids from all over the world. It was like American Idol or like, right. you know, or, or just America's Got Talent, whatever, just going in there. People are voting from all over. And so somehow I ended up winning it. But as I got out, we're getting this phone call. So before, previously heading out there, I had done this show. It was called The Drum Show. Right. It won an Emmy, and it was on PBS. Like, constantly, they would air that, constantly. So Prince saw that. And so while we're in Italy, we, you know, it gets a hold of my, my home number somehow, some way. And so they call, and Prince is actually calling, and my brother picks up. He's like, this is Prince, you know? I'd like to speak to your brother. So... I mean, and then he just literally hung up on him. So he's calling. Well, yeah, he's, he's, call, he's, call, he's, call, he's calling us. He's calling us in Italy saying, what are you guys doing? I'm like, well, we're in Italy. You know, we just won. Well, what are you doing? This is crazy. You know what happened? I'm like, what? What happened? <laughs> Prince called. I go, what did you do? He goes, well, I hung up on him. I'm like, what? <laughs> are you crazy? You're crazy. <laughs> so anyways, we come back. And next thing you know, we had everything lined up. He, we flew out to Minneapolis and... And then we signed the contract, the rest was history. So I got an album, uh, it was called Drum Fever, that was my first album, it was right. under his label, which was a, an amazing experience because I was allowed, like, especially that time, and it's still, even you say it today, but I, I don't like to be boxed in or labeled or put into a situation where it's like, well, this is the, this is the only type of music right. I should play or do. So Prince saw that in me, and so at a very young age, I was always adamant of just like, because it's broad, rhythm I is love broad. It. So it gave you a, creative freedom. He absolutely did, and so you would see all these different styles in that album, and so that really set the tone for a lot of things that I've done and, I, and I'm doing. So um, that was an, an amazing experience, and then uh, it just led into uh, other things. And I went to uh, I went to USC, and I I got I did my school thing, and then uh, I uh, fight on. I'm a Trojan. Okay, I like that. Yep, I yep. like that a Fight lot. On. I like that. And actually, USC Trojan Marching Band is in my latest album. So, nice, yeah. nice. So that's awesome. Good. Um, 
So okay. yeah, all those things developed and, and then, you know, now it's this album that I'm Yes. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the album, but before that, I want to talk about this concert. Um, and so I know you did a lot of collaborative work with your debut album and all the other, your entire body of work, I should say. Um, you've worked with so many amazing musicians, Grammy Award winning and so on and so forth. Um, how is it preparing for this concert? I know it's a lot of work and sometimes the audience doesn't understand how much work goes into this type of concert and production right. and um, you know you have so much experience um, and such a rich past with your music so I'm sure you're super picky with who you work with yeah. musicians and other artists so on and so forth so what can the audience expect what kind of work went into this and you know let's touch on that a bit well as, well, as far as the work is concerned it's it's Tremendous work, yeah. you know. I mean, it's needless to say, and and it's something that I literally went myself with this vision and said, "I'm gonna do this," you right. know. And that's exactly what this whole thing was. I'm like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna go forward. I'm gonna make this happen. I have this vision, and I'm gonna work my butt off, and I'm gonna leave the rest to God." And that's exactly what's happened. And and through this whole process, I have met so many amazing people, and uh, Alex Theater, and then. Glendale Arts, which is, you know, they're tied with the, the theater. Yeah. Um, and Alex Theater, and this concert I'm doing, is, it's in association with Glendale Arts and with my record label, right. Jab Records. So it's this, this, this um, connection that we've had, and I can't even say, I don't have words to say, but like as far as this next person I'm going to describe, but Maria Saakian, she's been so integral in helping in so many ways to really like really get a lot of things going for this show so it's it's been a lot of work a lot of effort and it's going to be a huge production and a, a, people are going to see a lot of various things happening that night. I'm sure. <laughs> I know Maria personally. She's an incredible yeah. um, person and she's actually well, an amazing. incredible professional and it's so important when you're so ambitious and excited about a project to have someone work with you that's equally excited and dedicated. So that's very important. I'm happy you have her on your side. Oh, of course. No, yeah. she's, she's definitely one of those special people. And it, it truly, the, that's why you see like things happen for a reason. And, and to have it happen in my hometown at the Alex Theater and to be involved with people that are so caring and they actually have such passion and love for the arts, like right. Glenda like Glen Arts. But Maria has been in, extremely integral. Like she's been a huge part of making this happen so a beautiful thing it really is it so really is. um before we get uh into more detail about the concert and who you're working with and all of this right. um let's check out a clip of jacob arman band uh which will be performing there along with other um performers as well so let's check this out and we'll be back with jacob arman
We're back with Jacob Arman, multi-instrumentalist and drum prodigy with a concert coming up September 8th. And let's talk a little bit about what the audience can expect. Who are the people you're collaborating with, musicians? Well, it's, I, I t the title is A Celebration of Rhythm. Yes. So um, basically rhythm is so broad, you're going to see all these different variations and styles, you know, which we love to hear, you know, and, and you're going to, you're not going to come away from that show. The thing is just you just heard one thing. So right. it's going to be all across from jazz, Latin. There's going to be a Latin jazz band. Beautiful. There, rock, you know, what you saw. Um, there's going to be, you know, urban. And actually, I'm collaborating uh, where uh, I had this song in mind. And and it's it's coming through. And, uh, you know, and I, I heard him on the track. And, and we're going to actually perform it live together. And it's Armin. So... Love yeah, him. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring it pretty hard that night. Nice. So, um, and you know, and all and classical and and all these different styles. So you you're gonna see just the whole my, my interpretation of rhythm, which it's like, uh, you know, there's something I've been living and breathing all my life, and it's all gonna be presented there that night. So. Yeah, and that you know what? That's what I've been telling everybody that's yeah. been asking me about your concert. I'm like, it's not a concert; it's an experience. <laughs> um, and really, for people that appreciate good music and appreciate good talent, um, this isn't just like, oh, let's go for a night of entertainment. I think it's more than that. It's much more meaningful than that, especially in an artist that's been in music their entire lives. You know, um, is there anything you'd like to you know tell people, your fans, or any kind of? Anything, you know, maybe aspiring artists since you've been in music your whole life, people that right. are aspiring to be musicians and artists. Right. Well, What's the one piece of advice maybe you'd give them? To not fear, you know. I, yeah. think, I think that's the, the greatest thing to, uh, to have in your mindset is to, to never fear and, and to absolutely do what you love. You wake up in the morning and just have that passion and whatever it is. You know, we all have this gift. We all do as far as the ability to give, right? And so, and I think the, the process of creating is, is so amazing. And I think it comes from above. And, and to share that, is, it's the greatest feeling in the world. So I think f to not fear and to also to share what is your passion and to stay with that no matter what it is or what it takes. Nice. So. Yeah. Well said. Thank I you. like it. I like it. <laughs> um, but before we wrap up, I want to ask you about your upcoming album and what can fans expect from Jacob Arman? Well, the, the, the title of the album is called When Drums Conduct. It's a double album and it's all the styles that we're talking about that you're going to see that night um, from jazz, world, rock, um, fusion, classical, all these different styles. And it, it, it features um, Grammy Award winning artists from Darren Malakian, um, Victor Wooten, Pancho Sanchez, awesome. the USC Trojan Marching Band, Lark Choir is in there, Jivan Gasparian is in there. Um, so it's a lot of artists and a lot of musicians from all over the world, over 80 musicians I have on the album. So um, it's a huge undertaking and uh, it's one that I'm extremely thrilled of putting it out there and having everyone to uh, listen and experience it. You know, it means a lot to me because I'm dedicating it to my dad. So he's a big influence in my life. Beautiful. Yeah. And I'm sure it's going to do so well and you deserve all the praise, honestly. You, you really, really do. September 8th, 7.30. For tickets, go to TicketMakeIt.com. You can call 818-265-0506. And um, that's about it. Thank you so much for coming on to Hordes on Armenian Thanks TV. We love having talent like you. And for any further information about Jacob's upcoming album or music or what's going on in his beautiful world, of course, you can honestly just Google him. There's a lot. There's a lot about him on um, online platforms. So thanks for tuning in to M Stage. I'm Maria Cosette.